you're here. I mean, you're really here. I'm so afraid that I've lost you. I thought I would never see you again. Oh, it's gonna be all right. It is gonna be all right from here on in. I'm never gonna let you go again. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too. I was sure this time you were gone. I'd lost you forever. I thought the same thing. All I could think of was how, how cruel it was that I finally remembered how much you meant to me. I finally remembered how much I love you. How did you manage to get off the plane before it took off? Was there a struggle? No. God, no, there, it, it was nothing like that. Your brother did the most loving, generous thing ever, and I will always be grateful to him for that. I don't get it. What did Antonio do? As much as Antonio loved me, he finally realized that he couldn't hold me against my will. He let me go. I do know that, Antonio. I believe you. I know that you would never intentionally hurt me. No, just the opposite. I want to make you happy every day of your life. Antonio, I love you. But it's not the same love that you feel for me. It's not the same love that I feel for Luis. I love him with my whole heart, mind, and soul. Just as I always have. If you just give me a chance, if you just... Let me try. I, I, I know you'll love me. Antonio, don't do this to yourself. It's not going to happen. Look at me. Please look at me. You are a wonderful man. And you deserve a woman. A wife who loves you as much as you love her. And I'm sorry, but I am just not that woman. My heart belongs to Luis just as it always has. If I take you away... You could take me to the ends of the earth. But you could never take Luis out of my heart and my soul. I will still love him. I will still long for him every day and every night. And if you can live with that, if you can live with knowing that all you have is my physical presence and nothing else, then go ahead and tell the pilot to take off. But I'm telling you right now, my heart and my soul will always be in harmony with Luis. Stop the plane! Stop it now! Just get out of here. Go before I change my mind. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. Just go, sir. Thank you, Antonio. You're doing the right thing. So, um... so then Antonio didn't get off the jet with you? No, he stayed. Oh my god. Oh my god. If Antonio hadn't let you go, I would have lost you too. Yeah. Luis, he was he was just amazing. I know it took every ounce of strength that he had to let me go because he had so many plans for our future together. He just he didn't deserve any of this. No, you know what? He didn't. All I did was love you. I... Who can blame him for that, right? Mm -hmm. His only fault was he could never accept that you and I were together, and the only reason that you were with him was because of your father's manipulation. You know, I just that he finds the happiness that he deserves in life. I really hope that he can find a woman who can return his amazing capacity for love. What are you talking about? I broke your brother's heart tonight. 
Sheridan, don't you know about the plane? What do you mean? Oh, my God, you don't know. Oh. Oh. Sheridan, didn't you hear an enormous explosion a while ago? I heard something, but I was I was inside the hangar. I, I didn't know what it was. Sheridan, it was the crane jet. It exploded in midair into like a million pieces. No. There's no way anyone could have survived that. My brother's dead. He's gone. No. You must have it wrong. Antonio cannot be dead. I mean, how do you even know that it was the crane jet? Sheridan, I saw it with my own eyes. Okay, the control tower picked it up on their radar, too. I don't know, no, but that, 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 just, that just doesn't mean, I mean, I mean, he could have survived the explosion. Sure, there were no survivors. I, I, I saw the plane disintegrate in midair. That, there's just no way. But I did it. I killed him. No, you didn't, yes, Sheridan. I did. Luis, this is, this is my fault. Antonio would not have been on that plane if it weren't for me. Sheridan, he kidnapped you, okay? He took you against your will. Yeah, it was he, his choice, not he yours. He only resorted to that because of everything that was going on, everything that I put him through in the last few months. Sheridan. He thought that our marriage could survive all of this turmoil until I, I told him that I remembered that I still loved you. You were just being honest. Oh, my God, I... I knew something terrible like this was going to happen. I knew that one of you was going to end up dead and it was all going to be because of me. Why did this have to happen? I mean, why after Antonio made the most difficult decision in his life to let me come back to you, why did he have to die? I don't know. I wish I had an answer. If, if I hadn't told him that I was coming back to you, he wouldn't have been on that plane. He would still be alive right now. Sheridan, please. You can't do this to yourself. Come on, Antonio was a grown man. He knew there were risks involved with what he was doing. I wish to God it hadn't happened this way. I mean, this is... This is just like the story in the Bible of, of Cain and Abel, only... You didn't kill Antonio, I did. Sheridan, I'm not gonna let you do this to yourself, okay? Do you hear me? Now listen to me. If anyone is to blame for my brother's death, it is your father. Why does our love have to cause so many terrible things? No, no, don't blame yourself, okay? Hey. We can get through this, okay? Together. <laughs>